Well, welcome back to uh, WATE 6 on your side midday. We are bringing you a very special six around town today. In a matter of days, the United States will be celebrating a historic event in our history, the 50th anniversary of the day Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to ever land on the moon and step foot on it. UT's astronomy coordinator is joining us for a six around town today as we look ahead to the special celebration coming up this weekend. But first, we've dug out and dusted off the original footage from this historic event, and we wanted you to take a look. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward, drift. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Rocket Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn <laughs> We're pretty busy for a minute. Armstrong is on the moon. Yeah, Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon. On this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man. One Amazing video right there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Joining us right now is uh, the coordinator of the UT's physics and astronomy department. Right, I'm the astronomy coordinator. This is Sean Lindsay, and he joins us now to kind of talk about that special day. What did it, you know, as you look back, as you've done research uh, through your department, can you get a glimpse of or, or, or an appreciation for what that meant to the country or, or to the world at the time? Right, uh, it's a little bit before my time. Yeah. I came into being about 13 years <laughs> later, uh, but still, being somebody that studied the moon, uh, advocate of astronomy, got my PhD in astronomy, yeah. this is a moment that has resonated throughout history into my present life, and it's something that we can't ignore. Everybody's aware that we've landed on the moon. That's right. And humans really haven't done anything that I think matches that achievement. So even, it's a little wow. even though it's a little before my time, it is still one of the moments in U.S. Yeah. history that is my favorite. Now it was not before my time. I was a kid. I watched as a child on a black and white television the, the lunar orbit Christmas time 1968 and then watched the lunar landing the next year in the summer of 69, July of 69 on a color television set. That was a big deal to get a color TV. Trust me, that was a big deal in those days. And it was just an amazing, the, the, it seemed like the country just came to a standstill to watch that. Right, and yeah. uh, really the whole world came to a standstill more than just the country, because while yes, this was the US winning the space race, and the US was absolutely amazing in this accomplishment, it's really an accomplishment of all of the world, of yeah. humans themselves. Yep. I mean, Buzz Aldrin said, trying to leave for mankind, <laughs> mankind, all of humans yeah. should revel in this. And so, what we've so what do you have planned for the upcoming sort of 50th anniversary? So at the University of Tennessee, we're going to hold a special event, uh, weather pending. We <laughs> hope to be up on the rooftop. We're going to set up some telescopes. It's going to be a full moon. We'll observe the moon. So we invite the public to come join us. Uh, you can actually use some of our telescopes. Look at the moon. Yeah. We encourage everybody to take out their cell phones, try to get your picture of the moon through the telescope. That's cool. Using your cell phone, it works pretty well. And then as a special treat, we will also have a couple of grams of a lunar sample returned by the Apollo 16 astronauts. Wow. And even if we get weathered <laughs> out and we can't use the telescopes, right. we'll still have that sample. So come look, ask questions. And very quickly, we're going back to the moon, yes? Yes, that's yeah. the plan. <laughs> that's going to be a great thing. Sean, thank you so much for joining us today. I look forward to that anniversary, and I'm sure your, your event's going to be great on the UT campus. Oh, thank you. I'm really excited.